Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, today we're going to be making a recipe that uh, <laughs> I had when I was a kid, way back when. My grandma used to make it. It's called Chicken Francaise. Uh It's basically uh, fried chicken, but it's got a lemony flavor to it. It has a nice little sauce to go, to go with it. Normally you have it with, uh, she used to give us spaghetti noodles, but you know, you put some broccoli or tomato or whatever as a side dish, and that's how you eat it. So without further ado, let's get to it, because it is pretty quick. It's a nice recipe. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Okay, here's my pan. I got the heat turned on trying to warm it up so we can get going with this. I got two eggs in there. Uh, whisk them together with the fork, and I put about a tablespoon of water in there to, so it uh, doesn't be that thick. There's some extra virgin olive oil back there we're going to be putting in the pan. That's my little pounder that I pounded out my uh, chicken with, but you don't have to do that. Salt and pepper because we're going to season everything as we go along. This here is some lemon and pepper season. It tastes very good with chicken. This here is uh, about two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. We're going to mix that later on for the sauce, you'll see. This here is some of my fresh frozen uh, parsley. I'm going to mix that with the egg mixture. It's going to look good. I mean, it, I think it does more for the visual effect than it does for how it tastes. This is some garlic we're going to throw later on. I'll be slicing that lemon right there in half and then making real thin slices to go in, in the sauce. And this here is almost two cups of uh, chicken broth that's going to go in the sauce. And that's uh, about a quarter of a cup of white wine, and that's going to help to glaze the pan. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So now, let's not pick on Mr. Dan here. Don't think I'm crazy. But anyway, I'll explain to you in a minute. Okay, we're going to take this off the chicken. And I want you guys to, to season every, every step of the way. Put a little salt and pepper on like, like this on the chicken. We'll be doing each piece before I, before I dredge it. This here, a little salt and pepper in your flour. And again, in the egg, okay? Then, I'm going to try to give it a little bit more lemony flavor. We're going to take the lemon and pepper, and we're going to sprinkle some of that in our flour mixture. Okay? Now, this is, this is where <laughs> you guys might think I'm a little strange, but not yet. But anyway, we're going to put some of our parsley right here in the egg. And we're going to stir that up. And that's more for, uh, you know, you'll see how it comes out with the chicken, okay? Here we go with the... Now this is what uh, I usually call this a French dip, a fr French toast dip. <laughs> the, the, uh, because the, the, the dredging station's backwards, if you think about it. Because normally, yeah, you'll coat with a little bit of uh, flour some egg on there and then you put breadcrumbs on it and it goes into the pan. This is kind of backwards. We're going to put it in the flour first and then we're going to, from there we're going to put it into the uh, egg mixture and then to the egg mixture to the pan. So it's like French toast, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm crazy. That's alright. Okay, so we got that done. Mix this around. Okay, this is the first piece here. We're going to put, I got this has salt and pepper on it, so I'm going to Salt and pepper a little bit on this side. Okay. My pan feels like it's got the heat. Let's see. About two tablespoons of oil, if that. Yeah, that's cooking. Okay. So now we coat in our flour and shake off the excess, but you want to cover the whole thing. You know? oh, that's a little noisy, isn't it? Okay, we can tell that's hot enough. Okay, shake off the excess flour, and then into the egg mixture it goes. And then we're going to take that, and we're going to make sure that that's coated all the way. And then we're going to take that, and if you can see what's hanging on there, see that parsley? That's what I'm talking about. Let that excess drip off and then into the pan. 
Don't worry if you get some eggs on the side, it'll be like scrambled eggs, right? Then you take another piece. And like I said, I pounded these out. You guys don't have to. You can buy cutlets already cut up in the store. Uh, uh, if you like them the way they are, I'm just doing it because so, it cooks uh, quicker. You know, I pounded them out. I cut mine because I had some pretty thick breasts. <laughs> yeah, I like my breasts thick, right? Okay. So, uh, but anyway, what happens is uh, you try to get all this uh, meat the same size so it cooks about the same speed, you know. <laughs> you don't want one part, and especially you don't want one part of it done and the other part not done, right? So, uh, okay, we got all this powder powdered down, huh? Yep, shake off the excess. Again, put it in the egg mix. And hopefully this is, my egg mix will be enough for, I got six pieces to go here. I had three chicken breasts and I sliced them down the middle and then I pounded them, okay? All right, so here we go with the next one in. So you guys can see what's going on. I got this thing like on medium high, and we're going to cook all our, our all the we're going to cook all the breasts first, and then we're going to set those off to the side, and then we'll go making up the uh, the uh, sauce. You guys are going to like this. It's an easy recipe. It tastes good. You can serve it with just about anything. I I like it with the veggies. I think this would go good with zoodles, but I don't want to go zoodle crazy. I'm trying to back off of that. Everybody's getting, what do you do so many zoodles? <laughs> I like them. Okay, so here we have all of our mixtures on there. Flour. Let's see. All right, come on. I got a runny nose today for some reason. I don't know why. They say a cold front's coming. I don't know. That's not the reason my nose is running, but... Okay, so now, I don't know if you guys can see how the chicken's starting to change color around the edge. That means that it's probably time to flip that bad boy. So we're going to give it a little peek. We want it to have some good color. So we'll pick this up. A little bit longer. Starting to, we want a nice golden brown. No messing around. Okay, so anyway, let me season this up here. I'm not going to put you guys through all the cooking process of these chickens because it'll take a little bit, but I'll show you these two what they look like, and then I'll finish doing it. Give you guys a break, and then we'll uh, continue to march in the right direction. <laughs> Anyway, this is a nice, easy dish. You're actually going to like it. And I like the way the chicken comes out. You know, this, uh, my, my French toast dip. <laughs> um, I've never heard anybody call it that. I just did because it's backwards. And the way the chicken kind of looks, looks like French toast when you get done with it. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Huh? There you go. And if you could, uh, if you had a, you can hear this. Not really. It's, a, it's actually crispy. So, and, and that's kind of what we want. <coughs> this is turning out just perfect. <clears throat> Let me get a paper plate. Put some napkins on there. Yep. I don't know what you guys are going to do when I decide to stop doing this, huh? <laughs> It'll go back to normal. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is a... Uh, I like this recipe. It's going to be nice. You guys are going to love it. Bob's Carpet Mart. That was the one. You're going to love it. That's what he used to say in all his commercials when he gets done. Last thing he'd say before the commercial stopped. They're going to love it. But yeah, this is good. And you know, a lot of times I sit there and wonder how many people, you know, I know a couple people have tried cooking some of my stuff, that's good. But, you know, a lot of people don't want to do it. There's too much work or whatever, you know, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's a heck of a lot nicer. You know what goes into the food, you cook it. And I will admit, the way I look at it, uh, as far as uh, when you make it, it takes longer sometimes to cook it than it does for everybody to come in and stuff their little pie hole, because they're done pretty quick. <laughs> 
But as long as everybody's happy, you know, healthy, uh, we're trying to eat a little healthier. Not by much, but, you know. Tell you, she'll tell you she is all the way. And she is. She's doing good. She went for a little walk today. She got her 5,000 steps in already. So. Then she decided to go to the store for me because I needed some stuff and I was busy getting all this together. I don't want to really over overcook this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out now. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. See that? That's what we're going for, that color right there, that little light golden brown. Because we're still going to cook this some more, so. All right, give you guys a break. We'll be back in a few minutes when the rest of this is done cooking. Okay, my friends, this is that's the chicken part. Okay, and, uh, I'm gonna take that out, and uh, I don't know if you guys can hear this part of it. You know, it's a little crispy though, but that's what we want. But I don't want to overcook them. So now, a couple of the other pieces I had over here, I guess I must have pounded them too hard. They kind of started splitting when I went to flip them. So. That's okay. Okay, so while you guys were taking a nap, I was steadily working. As you can see, I chopped up my lemon. I didn't chop it up, I sliced it. So we're going to just throw those in the pan. See? I cook those a couple minutes, and we're going to flip them. And then we're going to add some garlic to this bad boy. where we're going to make our little sauce. And what's going to bring the whole thing together is when we do the, the butter and the flour mix. We're going to mash that together. It's going to come together just right. Who said that? Mama bear, baby bear, papa bear. Which one? I don't know. What's the gold box? That's the bonus question. Huh? Okay. And it's not going to take that one. We're not really trying to go crazy with these lemons. We're just trying to get some nice juice. And these things are going to cook up tender, don't worry. We're not going to eat them. You can if you want, I guess. I don't know. But I ain't eating them. I'll just cook them. Now, I try to get all of the seeds out, so. The only part I didn't get the seeds out was the part I got to squeeze in here. So. so if you do do this, watch out for it in case you get any seeds. Some people got one of those lemon juice and things. I don't have one. Maybe I ought to get, get one. Huh? Okay. So now we're going to throw in a little bit of our garlic. I'm throwing in about a tablespoon. That's me. I just like the garlic, you know. You can put in as little or as much as you want. If you don't want it that much, if you don't want garlic at all, don't put it in there, huh? So we're going to cook that until I start smelling garlic. I don't want to burn it. I would like the smell of it, though. I don't know if you guys can really see those pieces. They're starting to break down nice. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and squeeze. Tell you what, this stupid lemon has a ton of seeds in it. I think they were on that side. I don't see one on this side. Okay, so now we're going to... Squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze again. Okay, we're going to try to get as much of this here to stuff out of here, the juice I'm talking about. I'm trying to see if that's a pit. I don't, know. I don't want to get no pits in there. But. Okay. Let that cook a little bit. And then we're going to have some fun. We're going to dump some wine in there. I'm going to get the lemons all juiced up. <laughs> all right. Like I said, if you guys don't want to put the wine in, you don't have to. I just had extra chicken broth. I don't even think you need to do that. But 
all we're using the wine for. The wine's going to help to glaze the bottom of the pan, that's all. Okay, we got that going good. Now, all that wine's about that wine. All that uh, soup, uh, juice has just about evaporated, huh? So, without further ado, let's dump some of this here wine in there. And that was just a nice white wine. You can use, uh, you could use cooking wine, I don't know. I just happen to have some wine. And we're going to let that cook for a little bit. As you can see, it's starting to jump around in the pan. So, that's good. That's a good thing. That's what we want. We want it to cook, huh? Okay. So now, we have this. The butter and the flour. Let me bring you over here a little bit. Probably do it right there like this here. Huh? So we're going to take a fork. And we're just going to blend that all together. Now I've been having this butter sit out a while, so hopefully... Yes, it is. It's nice and soft. So we're just going to blend this together. It was, it's just like if you was making... going to start a roux in the pan. Like to make gravy. You know, you make... a. Equal parts of fat and equal parts of flour. So we got two uh, two tablespoons of butter. We got two tablespoons of flour. Okay. Try to keep it on the dish if you can. Yeah. And we're just going to try to mix this so we get a nice little blend. You know, you got to have fun with this stuff, you know, you guys. <laughs> You don't know what you missed, huh? Yeah, I used to cook when I was working, so I don't want to hear I work. Yeah. I worked, and I still came home and cooked, so, because I like it. No one forced me to do it. No one forced me to do it now, but I just happen to like it. Okay, so I think that's uh, about as incorporated as we're going to get this here. Keeps bouncing all over the dish, huh? Okay. So that being said, that's kind of ready. Let me swing you guys back over here. Just so you can see what we got going on there. That's your homie cat. Homie, homie, homie. Let me get a sip of water here. So now we're going to put in, uh, this here's cooking a little bit, so it's rendering down enough, I think. And I love the smell of that. <laughs> yeah, that was, what's his name? Uh, in the platoon room, you know. I see, I always know his name now. Today I can't guess. I can't even bring it up. I don't know. What's with you? What the heck is with that dog? Okay, so that's rounded down enough. So now we're going to add in our chicken broth. And now we're going to let that cook for a couple of minutes. Like the lemons are surrendering, they're just floating in the water. <laughs> but you guys can smell it, it does smell pretty good. We'll let that come back up. And then we're going to, final step, we'll be adding our, whatever this mix is over here. Try to do one of those professional presentations when we're done. I'm going to lay my chicken out and put some lemon slices on top of it, put a little gravy on there, huh? <laughs> uh, I just have to like this stuff. It's good. We'll 
be back in a couple seconds, all right? Okay, so now we're going to put our little uh, butter and flour mixture in there. stir this around a few minutes and we'll be back. Okay, this is going to be like a tight fit, but it's time. I don't know if you guys can see that sauce. Oh, yeah, you can. See how nice and thick that got? Look. Look. Huh? Look. Ooh, can't even see the lemons in there. Okay, so now we're going to get all of our chicken pieces in there, hopefully. Six pieces got to go in that little pan. I'm going to cook those for a few minutes, and then we'll be done. And you guys will be able to have a nice, nice piece of chicken. As you hear my dog crunching in the background, huh? I think that's what happens. She smells this, and she can't wait to eat. But she ain't getting none of this. Oh, no. This is all mine. Well, I have to share with Penny, of course. She did some running around for me today, so... I was getting ready to do this. She's good to me. She does stuff all the time. All right. So anyway, I'm going to keep messing with this, and we'll be back, and we'll plate up. Okay, so uh, we got go. We went ahead and plated it up. But as you see, we got some, some lemon on there. But I'm going to do like Emma, what's his name, Lagasse, just bam, we'll put some more uh, Parsley on there. The cat's even liking this. I don't get it. All right, so you got some parsley on here. That's a good. So we'll be cruising over to the taste test table. That's where we'll see you guys next. Okay, we're at the taste test table. I cannot wait to delve into this. This is going to be whew, nice and tender. Look at that, huh? Hmm. The lemon flavor. Wow. And that juice really thickened up nice. Mmm. We're going to have this tonight with uh, some broccoli and cauliflower on the side. But one more bite and then we're out of here. There you go. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, without further ado, man, that thing is really good. When you're out and about, cover up so you protect yourself as well as others. Notice I got a new mask. <laughs> okay, wash your hands when you're out and about. Take that spritz of stuff with you. Wash your hands when you get back in the car. Don't chew with your mouth full unless you have some of this. Or talk with your mouth full. Okay, give us a like, uh, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet, and when you do, the notification bell will pop up, you hit that, and that will send you a message every time we pop up a new video, and as usual, all of the stuff will be down in the description box, the recipe, ingredients, and how, how to cook it. Okay, so this is Mr. Dan, we're out for now, stay hungry my friends, and come back when you are, and you can have a dish just like that, well not just like that, but something similar, but it's all good, you guys are going to love it.